Hello, it's Nate Kunzer, and today I'm going to be showing you our fully integrated package, which includes the high vap, the chiller, and the vacuum pump. So, first thing you're going to do once you have this set up, starting from after you've got your high vap itself set up, is to grab your vacuum box. This guy's just going to sit right in the back over these two lines right here, and using a torque screwdriver, you just screw that guy in. Once you've got that guy in tight, you can move on over to your vacuum valve. Look like this guy. You're going to want it black part facing towards the back of your unit, and that'll screw in right where your transportation lock used to be. You'll be using an Allen key for this, but if it's your preference, you can always start it with your finger and then lock it in after. Now you're going to want to pull off these yellow caps and inside the kit that came with the vacuum valve, you're going to get these two barbed connectors and you're going to insert those by unscrewing this portion, sliding it through the front and making sure the ferrule stays in the screw, you screw it back on. These are the attachments that the vacuum tubing will be attaching to. Now you're going to want to plug the vacuum valve into your box in the section that says vacuum valve. And then while you're at it, you plug in the one that says vacuum pump into the high vap itself. Now following that, you can start putting your tubes in. The first one we're going to be using is the Y connector and the front portion of your vacuum valve. You want to cut the tubes to whatever size meets your needs. Plug that into the bottom of the Y connector. Then again, grabbing a tube that's about the size you need. Put one portion into the Y connector. And slide that guy back on into the vacuum box. Now with the other portion of the Y connector, with your tube, you're going to pull off one of the connectors on your vacuum fitting, throw that guy into this tube, and screw him back up. Once that guy is finished, we can move on over to the vacuum sensor. Grabbing another piece of tubing that is the length you need, plug that guy over the connector. Using this hole you'll find on the bottom, slide them over your support rod. And then using the other barbed fitting in the vacuum fitting, you will throw that guy on the other end of the tube and screw them back up. And then with that completed, the cord that goes from the vacuum sensor will go to your vacuum box in the port that says vacuum sensor. Now, to finish off your vacuum valve, you're going to get another piece of tubing, approximately the length you need. Plug it into the back of your vacuum valve. And then into your vacuum pump itself. After completing that, you can grab your temperature sensor. It'll be the short one for your G3 and your G5 models, which is what I'm showing you currently. You will plug the cord into the top of your lift, and then the temperature sensor itself into the bottom most screwing port. Then from there, you come over to your chiller. You're gonna have two tubes, one coming from inlet, one from outlet. You're going to attach it to a barbed connector that is the same size as the inlet and outlet ports. You're going to throw that on and then with the barbed connectors that are given, 
funnel those into the tubing. But before you do that, you will find these ring clamps. You're gonna to wanna to slide that over the tubing, plug this guy in, pull it up to the top so it's over, and then using a screwdriver, tighten it as tightly as possible, and that will prevent leaks. Because if you're not to use the O-ring, there's a good chance that you will find leakage. Once you've got that done, there will be two ports on the back of your condenser. Screw one of them into the other. It doesn't particularly matter, at least with the G3 model. And the other hose into the other side. And then when you've got those guys done, the last thing you need to do is plug your chiller and your vacuum pump it. So using the two cords that came with it, this guy will be on the side. Plug it into an outlet. This guy will be on the upper right corner of the back. And into an outlet. And there you have it. That is how you assemble your chiller and your vacuum pump and connect it to your high band. Thank you very much.